Hi and welcome to another Essential Lightroom video. In this week's episode we're going to be taking a look at this image and we're going to go through and process it from the way it looks right now and we're going to take it through to this which is a much warmer, much more interesting kind of photograph, the kind of thing you'd see in a magazine shot. So let's take a look at how we can do all that right the way through from the starting point to the end right now. So the first thing you can notice when you take a look at the original shot is it's quite cool. There's not a lot of contrast in there and everything has a slight blue tint to it, which is fine, but it doesn't really portray the nice environment that it's in. So the first thing we're going to do is go through the basics panel and adjust some of the options in there to generally warm the image up. So let's talk about the basics panel. We're in the develop module, so that's just pressing D on the keyboard, it takes it to the develop module and we can start working. So the first thing we're going to do is deal with the color temperature of the image. So what I want to do is I just want to warm this up generally. So we're going to take this over to the right hand side and just introduce a little bit of warmth back into the image. So we're going to take it up to about plus 10, plus 12, not go crazy, but we're going to give a little bit of warmth to the overall tone on the image. Next up, we're going to grab the exposure slider and we're going to boost that up about a half a stop. That's just going to generally open up the image itself. Now, it might look a little overblown at the moment, but don't worry, we're going to deal with that. So next up, let's just deal with the shadows and the blacks in the image. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the slider for the shadows. We're going to hold the Alt key down on the keyboard. We're going to drag that over to the left-hand side, keeping an eye out to make sure we don't clip anything in there. So we're going to take that down to about around minus 60 should be good. That's looking pretty good. And we're going to do the same with the blacks. We're going to drag those down just to darken those off. Again, I can hold the Alt key down just to make sure and you can see around the hat, we're starting to get some clipping in there. So we're going to open that back up to around at this point, around minus 45. I don't mind too much. There's going to be a little bit of sort of black blacks in there because at the end of the day, that is a really dark shadow area. Now, next up, we're going to come down and we're just going to give this a little bit of a boost in clarity. So we're going to take that up not too far, I don't want to make everything sort of hyper-realistic and pseudo-HDR, but around about 19 or 20 gives us a nice sort of mean average. And next up, we're going to grab the Vibrant slider, and we're going to give those warm tones just a little bit of a boost. Probably about plus 20, somewhere around that kind of region. So this is where we are at the moment. Next up, we're going to just jump over now. We're going to deal with some more with the color. So we're going to drop down the color calibration. Now, the majority of this effect is based around the teal and orange kind of style that I've used in previous videos. That works really well when you've got sort of skies and where you've got water and things. We give it a sort of a really nice tone. Works really good if you've got skin tones in there, which we can then adjust and sort of warm up and give a sort of nice Mediterranean look to the image. So to create the effect we're after is very, very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to come down to the blue primary to start off with. And if you keep an eye on the jeans and on the hat and especially the water in the background, when we start making changes, this that's where they're going to really be noticeable. So what we're effectively doing is we're shifting the blue over more towards the cyan kind of teal area. So we're introducing some greenness into it. So I'm going to grab this blue primary here and we're going to shift that over. We're not going to go all the way. Probably around the minus 40 mark is going to give you a good sort of indicator. And you can see now that sort of C behind us takes on that much nicer sort of teal look. So let's take a look at before and take a look at after. Just really brings a nice azure look into the image. Next up, we're going to come over to the red primary and we're going to do the complete opposite. We're going to increase this. We're going to shift it over to the orange side. Now, this is really, really good for skin tones. Really warms up and gives that nice warmth to the skin so again we're not going to go crazy with this somewhere around that kind of region looks pretty good so there's before and there's after nothing crazy but it really does add that nice warmth into the image so our colors are looking pretty good but i still want to make some additional changes i want to give a little bit more darkness to the skin tone i want to sort of give a more natural looking suntan so to do that we're going to just jump over to the color tab we're going to jump over to the orange colors, and this is where you'll tend to find that most sort of skin tones are really going to be affected nicely. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to use the hue and the saturation and the luminance of the orange channel just to make some adjustments. So again, keep an eye on the skin tones because this is where you'll see those noticeable changes. We're going to grab the hue and we're going to take this over to the orange side. So we're just going to introduce a little bit more red into the skin tones. Don't want to go crazy with this, just very, very subtle. Next up, we're going to grab the saturation and we're going to give that a bit of a boost. Again, not too much. 
And then we've got the luminance, which is going to just generally overall darken that orange color down. So you'll see this is where you get the most noticeable change in the skin tones. And again, we're going to go down to about minus 10, somewhere around that kind of figure. So keep an eye on the skin tones. There's before, there's after. A very natural way of introducing more warmth into the skin. So next up, I just want to make some slight tweaks to where we've changed the sort of the tealy kind of color in the background. And to do that, we're going to jump over to the aqua channel. And we're just going to take the hue slider and we're going to push this over to the green side. Around that kind of point looks pretty good. Saturation, we're going to give that a little bit of a bump up as well. Somewhere around there. And then we're going to grab the luminance and we're going to bring that down to darken things down a little. So the color adjustments we made now to the orange for the skin tone and the aqua for the background. So there's before, there's after. They're very subtle, but they make a difference overall. And the final adjustment I want to make, if we come down to the effects section, we're just going to put a post crop vignette in there. We're going to drag this down just to draw attention to the model in the center of the image, just to sort of draw your eye into it. The kind of thing that really helps focus the image. So that's really it. That's all there is to this effect. So let's take a look at the before. This is where we started. So you can see quite cool, quite desaturated. And this is where we've ended up. A much warmer looking Mediterranean style image. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. Don't forget to pop over to EssentialLightroom.com and check out the preset packs, both free and commercial, that we've got available to you on there. They give you a great range of creating amazing-looking images with just one or two clicks. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else we come on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.